Hey everybody, welcome back to One and Only Gaming. Here we're on Alan Wake Chapter 2, Part 2. We just left off here with Alan leaving the cabin with Barry. So let's see what happens. Alan's got a gun. Yes, let's give the madman a gun. I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. All right, we get out. God, we're really out of shape together. Oh, what the? Who goes there? Oh, that—that's no bueno. Hello, a radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end of the studio. Doc, what's your dear best plan? Like? Yes. My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to make. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no plan. Really, just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who the fuck? There was someone outside that freaking window. Who the hell is out there? Uh-uh. Uh, -uh. uh pff, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Whoa. Nope, just, just a whole lot of nope. Nope. Freaky, man. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hello. Whoopla! Fool! Freaking birds! <laughs> uh, I'm the biggest was. Freaking birds! Nothing. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in Night Springs. Tonight's episode The Man in the Mirror. I'm like super paranoid. Huh? So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? <laughs> because I'm Alan. Wait, what? Yeah. Is that Alan Wake? Why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took your kid to a soccer game. So, how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Well, now, I said it's really flawed, I'm sorry. Maybe you're not the literary type. Oh my gosh, you know what? This is getting really boring. We want to go on to the story, not the sub sub story. Lover's Peak. Uh, that away. I think he missed a sign. Oh, someone's car crashed. And more birds! Get out of here! The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Ominous foreshadowing. Oh, hello. Oh, where's my light? Whoa, whoa, there's bullets firing. I want in on this. Hell yeah. Give me one. I'm sorry, Rusty. You're gonna have to wait. Alan can't run for more than 20 feet. Ugh, this man. Alright, Rusty, I'm coming. Oh, another manuscript page. 
Reading time. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Now I feel super bad for Rusty. The ranger's office was locked. Alright, I'm coming, Rusty. I'm coming. Just my stamina isn't as great as it used to be. So of course. The mammoth is still alive. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Rusty looks dead. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the oh. manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Wait, why did I just take his revolver? Wouldn't he need that? Ah! Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Why the hell did I just get hit? Okay, BS alert right there. Ah, my limited endurance the is perfect for this. Sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. The lock is is, is higher than that on the okay. Ooh, what's in here? More ammo? Yes. <gasps> and battle ease. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! Oh, fudge. Dang it. <clears throat> Rusty! Rusty! Oh, come oh, I stepped in. Stepped in that. Sorry, Russ, you're kind of gone. And I have like severe OCD in these stupid freaking puddles. I just need hunting licenses. I would never have guessed. Hey, bud. Stop. 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 Messing around. One, two, three! One, two, three! Triple tap. We got double tap. Triple trap's the new uh, new thing. It's hot with the kids now. Alright, come in, Rusty. And Rusty. Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Alright, well, the mammoth's there. So please don't feed the animals. <gasps> Rusty, no fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license no bay. The park ranger's instructions at all times. Rusty, Rusty, no! Never consulted in one hundred yards. Two bears and wolves, never Rusty. <laughs> Hey, get back here! I want to kill you! I know, I'm contradicting. Nope, 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 nope. Whoa. Stop it! I wish I was playing a Sanix. Oh my gosh, Rusty, I hate you stupid bosses. Stop running around! Let me kill you! There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six! Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh. Seriously? Come on. Nope. Quit it. 
What? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Mm. That's for Rusty. Poor guy. Now he's gonna take care of Max. I do, 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 do. Ah, the doors are open. I can heal! And I have a checkpoint! Ooh, is that Barry? Hey, baby. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Not baby. Now, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't I will, baby. The door for anyone. I mean it. Stop playing coy with each other. <gasps> Manuscript page. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young. And forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Oh, Rusty. You're such a nice guy. Isn't, isn't this lover's peak? No, I, I was wrong. The sign tells me otherwise. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Give, 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 give. Batteries with big fat energizer logos on it. <clears throat> Alrighty. Man, I want to take a dip in that. Alan, seriously, you ran like a good 10 feet and you already need to. Oh my gosh, Alan. Note to self don't do what you're doing. Do not become a writer. Ooh, hello. Yes, secret stash. In a dark, spoopy cave. Wah. Moonshine cave. Moonshine cave. This cave was a site of frequent and lucrative bootlegger activity throughout the Prohibition, 1919 through 1933. It was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada, but at times alcohol was also distilled on the premises. This is very nice. Yes. Ah, shotgun! Give, 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 give. You gave me a shotgun with four shells. Four. That's good enough for four bad guys. Or one boss. I don't like the way you hold that. You look like you're getting out of breath even faster. No worries, Arrow. I've already been there. Alrighty. Dude, really? Come on. <gasps> There's a hat. Oh, fudge. Hey, hey, guys. Ah, oh, you! Oh my God! Seriously! Ah! Oh! Nope! 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 Hey, buddies! What's going on? Ah! Hey, man! What's that? What? What, what do you want to do? You want to? You want to? You want to hug? You want to hug? Nope! 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 Trying to make my way across the bridge to Lover's Peak. <gasps> is that Lover's Peak where the light is? Is that someone up there? Yeah, let me just focus the flashlight to draw more attention to myself. I'm super smart. Ooh. There's the standard way. Where does the mystery way lead us? Ooh, to another manuscript page. Megusta. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, 
Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. And there we go. Rose is perfect for Barry. I hope they live happily and get married. Anything in the trash can? Nope, literally just a manuscript page. Any thermos? Nope. So I'm gonna take a little shortcut across this area. Maybe a um, page or... I'm not digging this feeling, yo. Could somebody say ambush? Ooh. Eat it. I'm in the light. Can't touch this. Oh, sweet. I'm not going to use this shotgun. It looks weird. Visitor Center Cafe Souvenir Shop. Lower's Peak. Let's get back into the mug. Let's go, Alan. Let's go. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. You're a biggin. Holy. That really does nothing. Shoot. Nope. Hey, 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 stop trying to flank me, you dick. Nope. Oh, fuck. Load the shotgun, come on, come on. There we go. Switch to the gun. Aw, yeah. The Great Old One. Felled by lightning in 1937, this exceptionally tall, rocky mountain Douglas fir, Sudasuga... Menzisi Subsuglaka was over 200 years old. According to local legends, it stretched beyond the stars. After it fell, it measured to be 66 meters tall, nearly a record length. Thank you for the fun fact. Now, I'm going to get going. And I'm hoping to get ambushed again. Oh, wow. I have the biggest mouth. Oh, fudge. Ah! Seriously, come on. I suck at dodging right now. And I'm running out of ammo. I'm so bad. Whoa! Hey. Hey, buddy. One, two, and three. Sweetness. Alrighty. I got to lovers, 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 pig. Oh my good gosh! Let me get to the light, please. Let me get to the light. <laughs> nope, not playing this game. Let me get to the light. No, no, dude, that is cheap as crap. I missed that last shot. What? What was that? I was like getting stuck on something. Oh. Vroom. Vroom. Thanks, generator, for you know happening to just die on me. Reload. Please don't lose more roll ammo. Yes. Oh. There's a manuscript page. There you are. Mom. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Whoa. Foreshadowing takes another turn. Hey, birdie. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my god, how far away is Lover's Peak? You know what? I'm just gonna. And, you know, catch my breath before I get totally screwed. Oh, you've 
got to be freaking kidding me. Whatever. Oh, jeez. Ah! Oh my god. He charges. I did not know that dude had this ability. Oh, I, I hit the bumper. This is bull. Oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. Okay. Big dude's dead. Awesome. Bam. Nope. Nope. Oh, sweet. Two for one. Oh my gosh. That was frustrating. Please tell me you got more ammo for me. Let me heal. Let me go this way, see what I can get. Well, if that doesn't tickle your fancy. Ah, yes. There's no ammo here. Just a thermos. Peachy, phantasmical. How am I, um, supposed to, oh. Wow. Alan's a badass. He doesn't listen to signs. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch, at any cost. And it's the complete opposite of Agent Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks. He loved the coffee, he loved the outdoors, he didn't drink, he was a stand-up guy. Now I see the Twin Peaks references. Ugh. Oh. And again, it's been a few years since I've seen Twin Peaks, but man, that was great! Ah, oh, I love Dale Cooper. Nightingale. You're no Dale Cooper, you're the complete opposite. Um... I'm gonna stand under the light. Then again, it is a light bulb, so it might break. Any day now. <gasps> is that the radio tower? Oh, let me on. Come on. Open. Open. Oh. Ah! <clears throat> I feel very vulnerable. You said it, Alan. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh, Jesus. Alan, get up. Alan, get up. Alan, get up. What a boss. More of them coming. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? Ooh, flares. <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but. Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. Oh, jeez. Oh, Fine.
Dude, what are you doing? Hey. This dude takes so long. Ah! Yo, I'm getting hit, dude. Oh. Nope. Nope, gotta get more players. It's even back. Back, I say. Hey there. Oh! Dang. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, no can do. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it. Yeah. This dude's retarded. You know what? They're just standing there. Ah! Programming kicked in. It's gonna drop you there. Get some light on those bastards. That'll keep them off us. Whoa! 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 That dude walked up to me as I was shining a light in his face. Jeez. Yeah, I'm definitely moving it. You, sir, are an asshole. I hope you die. You're a big bully, man. Oh, the kidnapper. Alan Wake sets its own pace. Nope, 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 Ah, light. And more flares. And more batteries. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long no, as No, 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 no. How about you don't go out? Oh. Goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Nope. Die already. Die. Uh. Are they gonna come behind us? I swear to God, if they come up behind us, I'm gonna be super pissed. All right, so you're down. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you firing on the one that isn't in front of you? Oh my good gosh! You are the crappiest wingman ever. Jeez. Nope. Yes, shoot the book. Shoot the wood. Whoa there. Ooh, okay. Hey man. There you go. Alright, he's down. Okay, anyone else coming up anywhere else? He's all down. What? Oh, wicked! That's right. I'm about to say, everyone else better be dead. Oh, jeez, I'm just, it's the big dude. You know what, just eat the damn flare. You suck, dude. Yeah! You say bullseye and you miss that many times? You're a terrible person. Cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. Ah! 
That was just bad. Alright guys, so that ends it for the next part of the Chapter 2 playthrough. I'm going to be releasing the next part tomorrow, so I definitely hope that you enjoyed what you've seen so far. And of course guys, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, he does jump! Damn, look how strong Alan is!